hi everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm coming at you with a hair dyeing video on if we can actually um dye canker long hair um i'm gonna be using the dylon dye um in woodland brown the reason i chose this dye was because after looking at all the other fabric dyes that i have access to with the shops and everything this was the one i thought would work best um, although it didn't say can dye synthetic hair um, it listed all the fabrics that could dye so I thought this is the best one for me personally anyway to try to use as you can see I'm using the definition braid hair in color 27 um, this hair is amazing if you haven't seen my other videos on it please go and check it out um, I can't emphasize to you enough how good this hair is it's super thick um, and just amazing I'm just cutting it in half and separating one half on um, the half I'm gonna be dying I'm just knotting it and tying it with an elastic band so it doesn't get all matted and knotty and tangled um, whilst it's being dyed so that is what I'm gonna dye um, for the dyeing process you need a bowl of salt obviously in measurements um, yeah I will put the details down below um, so you need a bowl of water you need to dip the hair in water say so it's a bit wet um, when you actually need to dye it and a bowl of clean water where you're actually gonna dye the um, the hair so I've just poured in the sachet into a small bowl and mixed it in because it's a bit grainy so you just need to make sure all the dye is dissolved in the water now the salt is gonna be put into the actual bowl you're gonna be using to dye the hair you're gonna mix it in with the water and then you're gonna pour in your dye mix um, mix it all together um, and then you're gonna put in your hair or the fabric you need to dye obviously right now it's hair so we're just gonna put in the hair I just squeezed it dry I haven't towel dried it or anything I just squeezed it dry and dropped it in on um, this you're meant to stir it and you know just soak in the dye and mix it around for a good 15 minutes that's what it says on the packet so after I'm doing that right now um, and then you're meant to let it sit for 45 minutes I actually let mine sit for an hour and a half so that's double the time just to make sure it works I don't know why I put foil on it but you know Africans we always put foil on everything so I was just hoping the heat radiates and it just works even better so an hour and a half later it is time to wash off the dye and see if anything has stuck onto the fabric or in this case the hair so that's what i'm doing now i'm just going to wash it all out um the packet actually says you know once you've dyed the fabric you should put it in the washing machine and wash it so you know any excess is you know washed out but obviously i'm not going to put this hair in washing machine so i just shampooed it after i've drained it um after i've cleaned off all the dye um i didn't show you that process because it was just literally shampooing the hair um, so yeah, so I'm just washing off the hair, making sure the excess is gone and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let it sit and air dry. Okay, hi guys, welcome back. Ooh, we're a bit bright, one second, one second. We have sun in London guys. Yeah, that's a bit better. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, um, as you've seen, you know, I attempted to dye this canker on the hair. Um, so I'm actually, I'm gonna show you the original hair. Ooh. I'm gonna show you the original hair and I'm gonna show you the dyed hair and you're gonna tell me if you see a difference. Do you see a difference? Well, one smells nicer than the other, let's put it that way, because I shampooed one. I, d I don't even think there's a difference, like, honestly. So this is the original, and this is the one I dyed. Look at it. You can't even... It looks the same, in it. So, um, as you can tell, uh, of course, it did not work. Honestly, though, I kind of had an inkling it was not going to work, because when I went to get the dye... When I went to get the dye, I uh, um on the packet, it didn't say it was gonna work on synthetic fabric. It said it wasn't. Is I think it says something like it it, it dyes nylon. It doesn't dye linen or something. Line like nylon nylon. N that word. Um, but to be honest, that was only like that was the only fabric dye that came close to something that could dye this piece of hair. Um, so yeah, so I tried it 
as you saw i was actually meant to leave it in the dye for 45 minutes but i actually think i left it in for double that time i left it in for an hour and a half but i still came out with nothing like i honestly knew it wasn't gonna work because when i put it in the dye and i, I was stirring it and mixing it because you're meant to stir it for 15 and then um leave it for 45 so like an hour as i was staring it and i was dragging pulling the hair back out of the dye it was just like just a falling right off and the thing is i'm not even surprised because this hair is like rubber um that's what synthetic synthetic stuff is it's a bit like rubber so obviously it wasn't gonna penetrate the hair it wasn't gonna stick in it didn't even take to it so um yeah i just washed it and shampooed it and hopefully i will be able to use it i'm not sure if i can still use it um because of the um dye i don't know if it's affected it but I'm, i haven't combed it or nothing so i'm gonna try to comb it but it really that was honestly that was honestly a flop um but I, it was a flop and i wasn't i was still gonna show you guys because i promised i was gonna attempt to dye it but i do think it's helpful because now you guys don't even bother don't buy, bother looking and you know what the funny thing was i did research and a lot quite a lot of people said it doesn't work but i was like i still want to try it because you know, let, let me I, let me try i just want to try it so i tried it it did not work don't bother dyeing synthetic hair um well i think you can dye synthetic hair because i've seen this girl dye a wig but this cancalon hair don't bother the only unfortunate thing is we don't have a lot of th different hair colors in the uk like i really want a brown because i want to mix black and brown in my next hairstyle but we don't have that in the uk but i've seen it in america so it might be a thing of finding out if you can import or order it and stuff but we don't have it in the uk and that's why i actually wanted to dye the hair i wanted to see if i can get it into a nice brown color but obviously that does not work they we they have okay we have three or four colors i think we have the black that i use we have this blonde one we have a red and then we have a mix one that mixes two colors so we don't really have a lot of colors and i really wanted the dye to take and i really wanted to have brown hair but it wasn't even brown it was more like a burgundy brown but i still didn't achieve that so guys don't bother save your money in your pocket you know just stick to the colors we already have there's not much else really <laughs> so i'm so sorry that was a disappointment i really 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 wanted it to work and i wanted to show you guys but it really didn't work it was a flop and a half but that is okay because i can show you guys and you guys don't have to waste your money so yeah so thank you guys so much for watching this video i really hope you've enjoyed it and i hope i you know i was clear on how i showed you how i dyed things but obviously if you want to dye clothes yeah that's how to do it yeah still <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video i will see you in my next one i don't know what that will be but ciao ciao i'm so tired now but yeah ciao ciao guys have a lovely week have a lovely day whatever you're doing stay blessed stay loved and i will see you in my next video